All right. I got a little bit of time, which is just enough for, I guess, one YouTube video. Make it work. Wenderbo's house. I don't even remember where we were. Oh, right. This is the one where we got... I think it wants me to have the fume shroom. But you know what? I take that as a challenge. I don't need a fume shroom. I need a chomper. I always hate the weirdly specialized plants in this game. I don't know why. They just always annoy me. Whoops. Nah. I can recover from that. Okay. There we go. Not gonna lie, the music for this absolutely stuck in my head. Up until I just randomly uh, was listening to other stuff on YouTube and autoplay came on and just started giving like weird, really catchy, like hyper catchy anime openings. So then those got stuck in my head. And then I'd swear over the course of the last night, I had at least one or two dreams to the tune of hyper catchy anime Plants vs. Zombies. I just, I'm super susceptible to catchy tunes. Which is why I generally don't listen to anything that is actually catchy. And when is Retropolis? You just missed it. I do another run, but I have to, I'm doing a, a sponsored stream in half an hour. And so it's like, well, what do I do? And the answer is, oh yeah. This game is busy. Because I can, I can pretty much stop this whenever I want. I, I don't know, there's there's extreme value in having a game that can be picked up and put down in a matter of minutes without having to like worry about like saving or finishing a level or anything like that. Like, I'm sure many of you have had the video game ex or the ex experience where you're playing a video game and you know, mom or dad wants something and they're like, get in here, stop playing that damn game and do whatever, whatever. And it's always kind of annoying, because you're, you're like, yeah, but just give me like five minutes, it's fine. And then you get there and they're like, yeah, I just wanted you to wash this dish. And it's like, I... Uh, they just pause it. Doesn't work if you're playing online games. Obviously for this game, but... Also, uh, at least for a while, we only had one family computer, so it was very much just kind of like... You couldn't just pause it, because you'd come back and somebody else would have already closed your game. No, that's the joke. <laughs> you joke. People believe that. I I no longer... I no longer uh, respond to sarcasm on the internet. Uh, I've given up. It's not worth it. Get your dumb door out of here. Dang, that's a durable door. Oh well. I can't pause this online. I've said so many times. Oop. Luckily, I have not been in that position for over a decade, so it's been kind of nice. But... Now that I've started having other responsibilities than just, like, streaming for five, six hours straight, it's just like, oh yeah, there is value in a short game I can pick up and put down. I was addicted to WoW a few, uh, for a few years. Try having to explain that to parents was so hard. I, my parents just gave up after a certain point. I, there was definitely some pushback, but, uh, I got it. I, I had the, in my infinite wisdom, I made the decision to get very addicted to WoW. when I was, uh, when I just gotten accepted into college. So it was just kind of like, well, we'd give a shit about what you're doing, but high, high school no longer matters to you. And so they just kind of let me do whatever the heck I wanted for a year. I'm sure that there was, like, still parental oversight, but I remember being able to get away with a lot more just sitting around playing video games. That... Wait, final wave already? What? Uh, okay. I 
I'm just gonna get a walnut there. That looks a little bit more durable than the other side. There we go. I really should bring the cherry along. I should have honestly brought the cherry instead of Munch Beast for this level. Oh well. So you wonder, do you still consider Ashen to be one of your favorite RPGs? Yes and no. I think now that I've moved away from it, I definitely see the flaws, but I thought it was an absolutely charming uh, soul's light. Planted on a grave to remove the grave. Hey, you want to buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you $750, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. How does that sound? Yep. All right. Hey, when you save up to $5,000, i will sell you the eight seed slot upgrade. Check you later. The thing about Ashen, for me, was just how... I don't want to say, like, beautiful the world was. It had an ambiance that I wish more games had. I wish it had more depth, but that's a separate thing entirely. And, you know... I think they implied that they're making a second one, or like a second game kind of in the same genre, so I'm curious to see how that performs. Pathless had a similar feel to it. Yeah, though with Pathless, you're mostly exploring collectathon style as opposed to like really exploring. I I feel like Pathless's uh, high speed uh, gameplay kind of held it back in terms of the quiet meditative exploration thing. Journey did it better, mainly because, yeah, giving the player the ability to uh, zip around Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog style really doesn't lend itself well to looking into nooks and crannies for lore. Uh, I still haven't played the Ashen DLC. I really want to. <sighs> kind of what I want to do is get to the point... Uh, Probably just bring Shell on a tour of quality, but not overwhelmingly impossible Souls likes, just so the two of us can kind of enjoy them. But I don't think she'd ever enjoy it, so I don't really know how I'm going to handle it. Man, I remember sound effects. It's just wild every time I hear it. But, as far as Souls Likes goes, yeah, I would actually probably say Ashen is right up in there. I want to say Demon Souls Remastered kind of takes the cake. Uh, playing Demon Souls Remastered as a mage was such an interesting experience, because it actually, it stopped being an action game, and it started becoming a puzzle game about how do I... How do I abuse these mechanics in a way that benefits me? And so, like, half the boss fights, I leg legitimately, like, just did not fight. It was more of just kind of a, like, hey, this guy gets cheesed out by doing this. And since they'd never... Oh, shoot. Since they'd never actually patched the game... Uh, you know, they kept a lot of the old bugs and weird design flaws. I could just kind of get away with a hell of a lot more than I ought to. I don't really feel like that's as possible in as many of the newer Souls likes. I don't, I don't really feel like you can absolutely just break bosses in the way that you could in Demon Souls. Okay, gotta remember to keep eating those graves. Otherwise, I ain't gonna make any money. I need my money. Let's keep putting the little purple mushrooms down.
They're mostly just good meat... Well, minor meat walls. But I'll take a minor meat wall. Uh, let's hold on on that one. Oh, that's convenient. Uh, let's see. What? No, you know what? I'm feeling somewhat confident here. There we go. The walnut down. I... It's interesting playing this years and years later, and my strategies have become sloppier in a... I used to try very hard to have, like, a perfect defense, you know, pristinely laid out and so on and so forth. Now I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just gonna sacrifice the purple mushroom just to get the pole vaulter to screw himself over. It's... It's interesting how much years of playing other games has, has just changed how I play. Honestly, this is an inconvenience. Stop eating my walnut. That considered rude where you come from? There we go. Don't eat another man's nuts. Unless he says it's okay. <laughs> to mess with. Let's just putting these down. I always thought those were potatoes. Huh. Now I can see it. I think there is another thing that is a potato. But it's been so long that I've honestly forgotten. Oh, right, there's the spud mine. Yeah, there you go. I was trying to think of something bigger, and the problem is all I could think about was bug snacks. Which, I mean, isn't the worst thing to do, but I was just thinking about all of the terrible things that I did to Philbo. In the pursuit of memes. Bug snacks. It was a solid game. I honestly thought it was just going to be like a dumb joke, but no, it actually turned out, uh, it legitimately turned out to be a great game. Suburban Albanac. Keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. Cool. Don't care. Final wave died quickly. The cherry bomb is insane. Ever play a game called Whack a Zombie? Just like hunting squirtbos. You know those little fairy little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? Yeah, just like that. Instead of squirrels, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. I don't think I ever actually finished all the bonus maps for this game. Nor will I. I was considering leaving all the graves up, but now it is very clear that that is a terrible idea. Auto clicker cheese time? Nah, I don't need it for this. This is peasy. Just a little close. I want to hem it into this smaller area so I can wipe them all out. Because this, you know, as long as it's within a small range of mo movement, it's a lot easier to click on all of them. Okay. 
I'm curious if I actually left all the graves up, if this actually would be not easier, but more lucrative. That's probably exactly it, but I don't want to do that. That sounds like an inconvenience. You get down there. There we go. God, I still remember this music. Love this game so much back in the day. Really got into the planting aspect. It is, it is interesting how infectious that music still is. And, like, how weirdly iconic it remains. Faster. You fool, you triggered my trap spot. Huh. Laura Shigahara is still making music. Oh, is, is that who made the soundtrack for this? She might even have a Twitch channel. Cool. Okay, I think I have just enough time for one more. Honestly, making the zombie fight for me is a neat idea. Maybe a good strap for later, but we probably want these three. I guess it would be a good replacement for the walnut. Maybe. Maybe not as long-lasting, but... More utility at a greater cost? I don't know. So for those of you hanging out in chat, just random brain fart gaming time. What's the most iconic console for you? Because I think for me it was always like the Game Boy Color. That there was something about the Game Boy Color that like really expanded gaming for everyone. GameCube, NES, PS2. And maybe it's just the fact that literally everyone I knew had a Game Boy Color when I was a kid. A lot of people going for... PlayStation, Dreamcast, so on and so forth. I'm curious what, what the actual statistics would be. You, you really would have to scale it by generation, though, because I'm sure you get a lot of, like certain divides here and there. Yeah, I just... I knew growing up, everybody had kind of different consoles. But everyone had a Game Boy. That, that seemed to be like a no exception thing for me. Which I don't really feel like carried on to the Game Boy Advance or the Game Boy DS. But, once again, probably a generational thing. A lot of people that would age out on gaming probably had already aged out by the time the Game Boy Advance came out. Uh, let's see. Let's just keep piling them down. I'm curious how far I could get just using nothing but purple mushrooms, but it would... I'd probably lose hard. I... I am really curious what some of the more, like, ridiculous builds are. Okay, he's a problem. Maybe the mushroom was a good idea. I don't have much of a defense down. And we had... Like, six Game Boy Advances. I like the Game Boy Advance. I, my only issue was that, yeah, they didn't have the backlight until really late in its life cycle. Which was a bit of a downer. Huh. 
Like, actually, could you have a, a bunch of puff shrooms and then just, like, spud mines and cherry bombs? All potato mine builds, sunflowers, mines, and nothing else. The only problem is the recharge rate would probably get you. Because I could see that being deadly. The SP was the best handheld question mark. I... Yeah. There were definitely complaints about the SP for older people. Um, my I gave my dad my SP so he could play Fire Red. And he said it, it was uncomfortable on his hands because it was a bit too small. Are you keeping the last graves for anything? No, just mostly laziness. argument to be made that the Nintendo is the most iconic system. I and the, I can't disagree with you. <laughs> That's a solid point. All right. I think this is going to have to be my last round on this one. Yeah, let's switch out the walnut for the hypno shroom and see if that works for me. Okay. Oof. I'll figure it out. Let's see how many waves do we have? You gonna tell me? I guess we gotta wait for a bit. Yeah, if you ask any random on the street what the most iconic game system is, they will almost always say some variation of the Nintendo, regardless of actual system. No, that's a good point. I'll, I'll give it to that. I think Nintendo's kind of earned that. Their branding has always been really good. With the exception of the Wii. And the Wii U. Mainly the Wii U. The Wii U was... Not an embarrassment. The Wii U was just sad. Because it could have been such a good platform. I loved the idea of the handheld, you know, controller with the screen on it. And, like, that's how I played a bunch of Monster Hunter uh, Try. Yeah, the Wii sold really well, but not the Wii U. Which was the issue. Wii U was eh. I liked it. I thought it was a slick platform, and... I mean, maybe part of this is bias, but, uh... The Wii U was the first console I ever bought as an adult. Uh, before that, it, the last console I bought was just a regular Wii. I love my U, Wii U for all the games I played on it. All five. It's because, yeah, they, did, they just didn't have a whole lot. They had a couple of neat games that got, like, ported up, which was really cool. But that was kind of the upper limit. It was tragic, because, like... They looked great. But yeah, luckily they they turned it around, made the switch, and now I have no complaints. Still waiting for Xenoblade Chronicles X to be ported to the Switch. The last old ad. I know. I I don't think I'd play like do another playthrough just because that would be unrealistic uh, in terms of my own time. Uh, but I would glad I'd be glad to just kind of play it on my own. Especially if they made, like, a Xenoblade Chronicles X2. But I think the first one did did really poorly, so probably won't happen. It was bad marketing. It made the Wii U look like a variation on the Wii. Yeah. Well, it's... They already had a precedence for having, like, the, uh... Cease to exist. Ha. They already had, like, the Game Boy Color, which was pretty much the Game Boy or the Game Boy Pocket, but just different enough that, like, people might want to buy it, but, oops. It wasn't the game's fault. It was a good game. It was a good game. It had 
one of the most messy plots I've ever seen in a JRPG, though. It was... It was messy. Okay, hopefully... Hopefully I have enough time. I got four minutes. Do we think this is gonna go in four minutes? I don't know. If... We might be pushing it kind of hard on this one. Also, thank you, Killer B, the 18, for the four month resub. Okay. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I think we're okay. Got things to do at 3 p.m., and I. That one's kind of non negotiable. Was the Wii U, uh, with a gamepad and better hardware? I, but I mean, isn't that kind of true of like every console? It's the previous one, but well, no. The Wii was the first time, that, to my knowledge, where like a console really was just like wildly different than its predecessors. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I want to finish this level, but I'm not going, going to be able to. It's just taking just a little bit too much time. It's fine. We'll pick it up n next time. I just... Time limits are time limits. Well, I guess I can keep talking about whatever the hell. <laughs> this, is, this is a game where I just ramble. Oh! I can just pick this back up where I left off. Oh my god, that's amazing. Question. Can I turn down the sound effects some more? There we go. That's pleasant. I... I was just under the assumption that this game, like most games, would just make it so that... Oh, I can't. I think we just turned them off entirely. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I was just assuming this game, like so many others, would make you redo the level. But I guess not. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. How are we doing? We are doing lovely. Let's just probably keep getting the purple mushrooms down, whether or not it's actually safe for them. Everybody always calls you Kai Faust, not Kai Faust. Really not enough people have read their classics. Then again, I I don't know. What was... Where did I first hear Faust? I guess it's Faustian. I guess in, like, Faustian deal. I don't know. It's really interesting with Twitch and YouTube and whatnot, how... How the... The streamer demographics are. That... Especially from kind of the people that started their channels on, around, or like before when I did. There was definitely this feeling of like, um, people that made a YouTube channel as just some kind of bonus thing to do during college. Can I put a Hypno Shroom down on this guy? Faust was an alchemist, so maybe that was it. Maybe. Yeah, I just, un unfortunately, dumb, dumb brain can't remember shit right now. Just too dry. And weird diet stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Hey, thank you, Voltoth, for the seven month resub. Wander loving your mind history series. So, as I do with pretty much everything else it, you put out. So, was your blame for me to getting back into that game? Either way, I hope your headache goes away. Keep going, man. You're awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's give him that. And yeah, my headache isn't bad. It's just kind of one of those low level, like mild headache ish things. Let's see. We'll just... Oh, that was the end of it. Yeah. Might as well have done that. 